Hey guys, guys and, and welcome, welcome to, to Vlogmas Day 12. Day 12. Again, starting the vlog off really late because I've been editing all day and that's all I've been doing. I'm working on my eyelash video that I posted, well I guess yesterday, now. It took me a really long time to film this video because it's been such a sensitive subject for me to talk about my eyelashes just because the amount of hate I got on my Grow Long Eyelash video. I ended up filming the video like three times. I didn't even realize before I started filming it how sensitive it is to me. I didn't want to come off sounding like a Debbie Downer or anything like that so I had to refilm it so many times. And it still came out sounding like a Debbie Downer, but I'm working on that now, but I will update you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so a little bit of an update. It's been a couple hours and I got the video up, but I've just been responding to all of your guys' comments and stuff. And you guys are so sweet. Thank you guys so much for the support. It really makes my day when you guys leave nice comments because like I said, it can be discouraging sometimes. So now Sebastian and I are going to make dinner. He picked us up some salmon and I know it's crazy. We're making dinner at home tonight. It's not coming out of a paper bag. So he picked us up some salmon. And if you guys have watched any of my vlogs on the other channel, you might have seen me make this salmon dish where I bake it in the oven in parchment paper. So we're gonna make that again tonight with the asparagus, but we're also having it with some couscous. The meal by itself is delicious, it's so good, and it's really filling. But after a couple hours, we both start craving carbs. So we're gonna have a little bit of couscous on the side just to kind of keep our blood sugar level, I guess. Although I'm sitting in here eating peppermint fudge, so. He and I are gonna get this started. And because I posted that video on my second channel, I will show you guys again how I make it because I'm sure most of you guys haven't seen it. Okay, so the first thing I'm doing is preheating the oven to 400 degrees. So now I'm gonna do the asparagus. And most people know this, but in case you don't, this is super useful. So asparagus, the end part is not really edible because it's like very woody and fibrous and it's like impossible to chew. So you can just snap it off at the natural point where the inedible part is and it's really fast. You could easily cut it off with a knife too, but I find when you do that, you end up with some parts where there still is that really tough, chewy part. garlic press and we have enough here to kill a vampire we're going to make a compound butter just with the garlic and the butter normally you would probably add some type of herbs to it but we don't have any so that's what we're gonna do I'm using this cultured butter here from Trader Joe's this stuff is so freaking delicious I talk about it all the time I talk about it way too much but butter is kind of one of my favorite things ever so you'll probably hear more about butter during vlogmas to make it we're gonna add probably about a third of the garlic here with a couple tablespoons of butter and just mash it with the mortar and pestle So, starting off with a little bit of asparagus, tiny, tiny, tiny drizzle of olive oil, salt, and then a little bit of garlic, then a piece of salmon, a little salt and pepper, and finally, some of the garlic butter. The salmon goes into the oven for 20 minutes. I'm adding about a tablespoon of butter to a pot. I'm gonna let that melt. And then I'm gonna add in the rest of my garlic and two small shallots before I add in my water for my couscous, just so that the broth has a little bit more flavor. let that soften for like two minutes and then I'm going to add in my garlic for like literally only 30 seconds just until the point where you smell it and then I'm going to add in my liquids and if you cook garlic for too long it actually gets really bitter tasting so the best time to add in any liquid is just after you start to smell the like fragrance of it The 
so the couscous is done. I love making couscous because it takes literally no time at all. Like this whole thing, it just took five minutes. And I'm just fluffing it up with a fork and then I'm gonna add in a little bit more butter because I feel like at the end it makes the texture really nice. And then I'm gonna add in a little bit of feta with some grape tomatoes and some basil that I've cut up. So dinner is ready. We're gonna go eat this and watch The Holiday, which is one of my favorite Christmas time movies. I actually just like watching it all winter long. What I love about making these types of meals is that the entire thing takes like 20 minutes. I really don't have an excuse for why I eat badly so often. <laughs> So we're at Walmart now and we're trying to grab a couple strands of outdoor lights for the outside of the house. So we have two sets up right now, but it just looks kind of empty and bare. And I might take one of them down because it's like very blue toned and then one set more warm. So what about these ones here? These ones look nice. Let's grab those ones. Yeah, I like those. I wish they had like twinkling ones. I was really excited about the ones that we got from Lowe's because they were twinkling and they're like the Disney ones, but they are so blue that they just don't look good. Oh, wait, white wire, twinkling. Oh, they're indoor and outdoor, awesome. It's a little bit later now and I'm going to end the vlog so that I can get this footage edited mostly tonight so that it goes up tomorrow, but like earlier in the day versus like five o'clock in the evening. I've been on a really bad schedule again lately. I've been starting the vlogs in the late afternoon afternoon and then ending them in the late evening so I haven't really had time in the evening to edit the vlogs for the next morning but I thought I would show you guys my skincare routine before I do that because I've been getting a lot of questions about it lately some people have commented that my skin looks really glowy and honestly I think that's just the fact that I use like a ton of highlight when I get ready I'm gonna show you guys the things that I use for my skincare routine lately it's been very basic honestly I've just been too exhausted to take my makeup off at night I'm lucky if I get my mascara off in the evening to be honest lately I've just been washing my face makeup off and applying moisturizer and calling it a night because that's how tired I am by the end of the day. So for my makeup remover, I actually need to get more of this, but this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Oil. This stuff is absolutely incredible. I've been using this since last year. My mom got my sister and I a little bottle of it for our stockings. I used to swear by the Bosha Makeup Breakup Cool Cleansing Oil. I've been using that for so long and this stuff is very similar to that except that it's completely fragrance free. The one from Bosha has like a lot of botanicals in it. So like eucalyptus so it's a little bit more drying on my skin whereas this does not dry my skin out whatsoever my skin is super sensitive so it gets dried out really easily and because this doesn't have any extra fragrance or essential oils or anything like that in it it makes it a lot more gentle on your skin so I don't have any dryness problems with this whereas I would have to really make sure I got off all the makeup breakup so my skin wouldn't dry out the moisturizer I use is this one here from Cerave Megan Fox swears by this and her dermatologist got her hooked on it you can buy this at Walmart or any pharmacy. It's super cheap. I think this entire thing was like $14. It makes my skin feel so hydrated, so I really love it. So my makeup is off, and the next step on a normal night routine would be to just put moisturizer on. But on a night where I have some time and I'm not completely exhausted, one thing I really like to do is use the derma rollers. I have four different sizes here, and depending on the area of my face, I will use a different length. My sister and I had actually gotten derma pen treatments done, so we both had it done twice. And that's basically like a derma roller, except that the needle goes in straight, whereas a derma roller is on a wheel, so it kind of goes in at an angle. And it's quite pricey. It can help with acne scarring. I think it can help with aging, but it's just like overall really good for your skin because it creates little punctures and then your skin regenerates because it's trying to heal itself. So in that process, it can get rid of all these other problems, which is awesome. I felt like it made my pores look nicer and my skin looks smoother and that kind of thing. I'm so terrified of needles. So the fact that I can use this is kind of saying a lot and it honestly doesn't hurt me at all. So I've ordered these from eBay and they're like $5 a piece. They're super cheap. One thing I really love to use this for is actually as kind of a lip plumper. I feel like it makes my lips feel a little bit more plump and just like less dried out and stuff. I have permanently chapped lips. So you want to do this on super clean skin with a clean roller. So you can see it. those are the needles. It looks a lot worse than it actually actually is. Then I go horizontally. Oh, another thing I've noticed with this is it really helped my eyebrows grow back. I noticed so quickly that my eyebrows were growing in so much fuller, almost like it had re-stimulated areas where I had overplucked in the past and they just grew back so much thicker. I know people use this actually for stimulating hair growth as well. So after 
after that, I follow up with my moisturizer. A lot of people like to follow up with serums, but I like the moisturizer first because if I apply a serum first, my moisturizer usually just sits on top and doesn't get absorbed into my skin. And when you do this with like a deeper needle like I just did, it feels almost like a light sunburn after you do it, but it goes away after a few minutes. The next thing I use, and I haven't been using this lately, but this is one of my favorite products ever. This is the Midnight Recovery Concentrate from Kiehl's. It is amazing. It completely changes the texture of your skin. Also, it's like an oil, but it gets absorbed right into your skin. I remember using this the first time and the next morning I woke up and I couldn't remember what I did to my skin that made it so nice. And then when I saw the package of the sample that I had tried, I was like, oh my gosh, I need the full size of this right now. I applied on my lips too. For my lips, another thing I like to do before bed because as I said, I have the driest lips ever. My lips are constantly chapped. I really like the Lush Lip Scrubs. Just because they taste so good, I mean regular sugar and olive oil does the exact same thing. But I have the Sandus Lip Scrub and I also have the Bubblegum one and they both taste amazing. <laughs> So the next thing I do is around the areas of my skin where it gets really dry, I will take some La Mer moisturizing cream. I just rub it between my fingers until it kind of melts and becomes really slippery and emollient because apparently that's how you're supposed to activate this stuff. And then I apply it under my eyes and along my cheeks and above my eyes. And then I will just like take whatever is left over and kind of rub that into the rest of my skin. This stuff is amazing, but it's not worth the price tag. I got this as a gift, so of course I'm gonna use it, but I don't think I would rebuy it. I feel like you could find better products for the price. So the last thing I do for my nighttime skincare routine is castor oil. I don't do this every night. I only do this two to three times a week because it will make my eyelashes go crazy. So when I don't have clean hands, like if I haven't just washed my face, I will always use a Q-tip. But when my hands are clean, I usually just dip my finger right into the bottle and I've never had any eye infections and I've never had any problems. I just take whatever's on my Q-tip, dot it on my upper lashes, my lower lashes, and then I like rub it in. And then I also apply it to my lashes because it makes them really nice and conditioned. Castor oil is dripping into my eyes, so everything looks so cloudy and blurry. So that is everything I've been doing for my nighttime skincare routine as of lately, or what I've been doing up until Vlogmas started. So I'm going in the vlog here. I hope that that whole little segment about my skin doesn't make this vlog like a million years long. I hope you guys enjoyed my little skincare routine. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions about any products that I use or anything else. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that red button below to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all in Vlogmas Day 13. Bye guys. Merry Christmas.